Oh, we could, we could fly. This is your summer. That means Six Flags in the taste of an ice cold Coca Cola. We're talking thrilling coasters, delicious burgers, yes. real moments together, and this. Coke is summer refreshment when you need it most, so you can hop on another ride or race down a slide at the water park. Six Flags and Coca Cola. Come make it yours. Visit sixflags.com slash coke to save up to $20 on passes, plus daily tickets starting at $34.99. And Tools is brought to you by EXO Auto Works. EXO Auto Works is Colorado Springs' home of the $40 synthetic blend oil change. Call now, 719-375-3232, or visit exoautoworks.com to make your appointment. Call us today in order to schedule your $80 wheel alignment on most vehicles. Enharmonic Studios. Enharmonic Studios is a hybrid digital analog facility designed to be quality and affordable to anyone who wants to make history. Call today, 719-963-2020, or go to facebook.com slash enharmonic studios. Trevor's Beard is brought to you by The Beard Struggle. The Beard Struggle is my go-to for beard hygiene and styling products, so you should click the link below and use the code T L A N E 1 5, that's T Lane 1 5, for 15% off your order. Madrid Maintenance. Madrid Maintenance offers excellent handyman services in the Colorado Springs area, starting at just $35 an hour. You can reach them by phone at 719-963-2020 or online at facebook.com slash Madrid Maintenance. The Tool Bar, our new line of handmade soap produced in partnership with Crafts by Carolyn Lane, available on Etsy. This soap packs a punch of manly scent like oak and fig, fresh cut lumber, cedar, and more masculine fragrances being developed all the time. With the soft touch of natural oils to cleanse and moisturize, use the link below to buy the tool bar now. Once you try it, you'll never want to wash with anything else. But we can't get those things on our own. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community, as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. Live from EXO Auto Works. Streaming all over the world. We're coming for you, globalists! It's your weekly dose of toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. With Eric Madrid. Because if too many people are just running around with their dicks out, it's called the Harambe variant. And Trevor Lane. A <laughs> of <laughs> No. A <laughs> of Karen. It's mad. It's mad. It's mad. Hello, everybody. Yes, it is, man. There we go. Helps if I use the right fader. How's everybody doing this evening? Uh, as you can see, I'm joined by Time Warp Eric. Or whatever. Whatever we decided that was. Um... Green screen problems all the time. I really had this uh, kind of sorted out. I think that's about as good as it'll get. Well, uh, welcome to Man Tools. <clears throat> um, as you know, we were out last week, and that is because 
I went on a vacation with my family. And as requested by Mr. Eric, even though he's not here, uh, you're going to get a little slideshow of my vacation. So um, we went to the beautiful Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Nice little four-hour drive. Um, six if you go the wrong way coming back like I did. But, uh, yeah, it was wonderful. We had a great time. Um, spent a lot of time in the pool, as you can see there with the girls. Pool hot tub. The resort was beautiful. Um, I gotta say, I wouldn't say that, uh, buying a timeshare is good financial advice, <laughs> but it, it is, uh, if you use it, 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 it's nice. So a lot of time in the pool, very nice pools. They have like three or four pools. Uh, this is, uh, at a restaurant in town because Tootsie Roll wanted to try, I think we got a picture of it. Bubble tea. So we went to this uh, Asian, all things Asian restaurant. Um, it was very nice. Had some uh, fried oysters because we, the uh, <clears throat> the way the timeshare place works is uh, you have a full kitchen. So we just bring groceries um, and don't plan on like eating out, which is nice. Saves Saves quite a bit of cash doing it that way. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, Carolyn tried it. I was not down for the bubble tea, boba tea, whatever it is. Uh, this joint was a chocolate factory. It was really nice as well. Very good chocolate stuff. And the girls, uh, got themselves a little bit of jewelry for a souvenir. Um, that is the view from our room, which is pretty spectacular. Uh, that's the sauna. Nope. We're skipping that one. <laughs> that's me and the wife in the sauna. Um, let's see. And this is a shot from the pool where we thought the bear might climb over the fence and come hang out with us. <laughs> I started banging around pool furniture and shouting. And, uh, he eventually decided that that was not where he wanted to be. Um, this is a shot from our balcony where apparently it appeared that the bear lived in the balcony underneath us. So we were on the second floor and under the first floor balcony, there was enough space for him to get in there. And according to reports, that was where, what was he, what he was calling home. <laughs> so, uh, God help you. If you happen to get that room. And uh, then this is the actual springs that the Steamboat Springs are named after. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, I found it a little gross. There was like a slick of oil <laughs> from everyone's sunscreen, which you, you had to wear. But uh, yeah, it's a little, little disgusting. There's a, one of the other springs that the girls are hanging out in. So, yeah, it was a, a nice, relaxing little five days out in Steamboat Springs. Um, so, apologize for not doing a live show last week, but uh, hopefully everyone checked out the best of 2022 so far. Uh, <clears throat> some good interviews in there. Anthony Zenhauser, um, Christoph Weigert, or Weigert. Um... Who else do we have? Oh, uh, the Retrospection Radio guy, Noah Martin. And uh, Colorado Springs Wrestling folks in that. So, nice little look back on what we've done so far this year. Um, <clears throat> and I hope I hope folks enjoyed that in lieu of an actual live show. And uh, with that, we're going to get into the news. <laughs> Thank you. 
News tonight is brought to you by Credit Nerd. Get your credit score and report uh, for just a dollar for a seven day trial period. And then uh, you can do continuous monitoring and reporting uh, with them for a small fee that they then share with us. If you use our special URL, which is credit nerd dot pxf dot io slash man tools or you can use that little qr code down there and uh get signed up today on with the first story uh microtransactions have become a thing in almost all industries and now the auto industry is uh seems like they might jump on board BMW has started selling heated seat subscriptions for $18 a month. That's right. This is an interesting idea. Um, and actually, I guess it's, it hasn't started in the U.S. yet. It's being tested in some other countries, it appears. Um, one that we know for sure, according to this article uh, that is happening, is South Korea. Um but uh, apparently, potentially, it's also the UK, Germany, New Zealand, and South Africa. Uh, this is a this is an unusual idea. What they seem to be moving toward is when you buy a BMW from now on. Basically, you know how it used to be that you'd buy a car. We're talking a new car, and there would be things that were standard and then there were options and options um, could be stuff like it. Here's a perfect example. This has changed a little, but it used to be the reason they called it a standard transmission was because most cars came standard with a manual transmission. It was an option costed extra to get it an automatic. Um, another option way back was a CD player. A lot of cars didn't come with CD players. So it's this sort of thing where, and, and now I guess heated seats would be an option. BMW is moving toward all of those things are in there. They just don't get turned on unless you sign up for the monthly subscriptions. <laughs> so I'm, they haven't done it in the United States and I suspect this is why. If you outright own something, I don't think it would be a crime if you hacked something like that. So if you figured out a way to just make the heated seats be available, I don't think BMW would have any recourse because we have very, you know, private property is very, at least for now, still um, very valued in the United States. And we have laws that protect that sort of thing. There, there are laws coming out. Um, <clears throat> I've read a num about a number of states that are getting uh, passing right to repair laws. So stuff like phones where they're built in a way that, oh, it's tough shit. You just have to get a new phone. They're like, no, you have to you have to allow people to repair um, their shit. Because if you own it, you can do what you want to it. So I'm not sure that this could work legally in the United States, but... The auto industry obviously has a powerful lobby like every other big industry. They could look at, you know, passing laws that say, even though you own the car, you cannot hack, you know, it's a crime to hack the uh, heated seats or the, any of the other options that they might do subscriptions for. Uh, one of the ones was uh, the automatic high beams, which I didn't even know was a thing. So I guess there are cars now where you're driving down the road, and, it, and if you have your headlights on, it can sense traffic coming. And if your high beams are on, it'll automatically dim them until the traffic goes by and then it'll come back up on high beams. You, you might have to pay for that. Um, another one was, uh, they call it adaptive cruise control. It's not quite as cool as the Tesla autopilot, but I guess that is where the car can sense again what's going on in front of it. And if there's a slowdown the cruise control will automatically slow down or deactivate. Um, and again, that's an option that potentially could be in the car. It just won't be turned on unless you've 
signed up to pay the monthly fee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a time we live in. Very unusual, I I feel, but uh we'll see. Strange stuff. Eighteen bucks a month for your heated seats. Oh yeah. Or there there are some options within that um that can save you money. Apparently you can subscribe for a year for 180. So they're giving you what two months free? Um three years for three hundred, another little break, or you could get unlimited access for four fifteen. And I'm curious there, if you sell the car, do they continue to have unlimited access or is it like up? Oh, Uh, yeah, EXO says they love the high auto, the uh, auto high beam feature. I agree. I assume that's Michael. Um, <clears throat> that is cool, but I wouldn't want to have to pay a subscription to have it work. <laughs> that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Very strange. And again, like I, I don't, I don't know that this would work in the U.S. because we do have laws that protect private property. Um, so if, I mean, if you own the car outright, I don't see how they can prevent you from, you know, if, again, if you can hack it, I'm not sure that would be a crime. So interesting times we live in, um, this story. Yeah. Hackers will always win. They will, which in this case, I think is a good thing. That's not always a good thing, but in this case, it is a good thing. Because I would not want to be stuck having to pay a subscription fee for something that I bought. Um, now, the... Yeah, I don't know. If it's in there, I don't see how they can stop you from using it if if you can hack it. So, um, anyways, this, this next story is wild. I have to say. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to read that headline the way it came out. But um, it says a West Virginia woman woke up from a two-year coma after being, as this says, basically hacked to fucking pieces. It, it's crazy. She was like found in her, I'm not even sure how or why they went looking for her, but, but she was found in her own home, sitting on her couch, um, and, and had been attacked with like a meat cleaver or a hatchet. She lived, but she went into a coma for two years. So she is now 51. So this happened when she was like 49. Well, the police got a phone call from her care facility saying that she had regained consciousness and could at least answer yes or no questions. So they rushed down there and through the series of yes or no questions, Come to find out that she says her brother did it. That's right. Her brother. Um, <clears throat> police never recovered the weapon. According to a uh, spokesperson for, let's see, where is this? Jackson County. Oh, yeah, we said West Virginia. Uh, Sheriff. Um, one witness reported seeing her brother on her porch at around midnight the night before she was discovered. Uh, there were no phone records, surveillance footage, or witnesses outside of Palmer's home. Police investigated several people, but could never file charges. Well, a couple of weeks ago that changed Daniel Palmer, the third 55, that's the brother was arrested Friday and charged with attempted murder and malicious wounding uh, on Friday, according to arrest records. Yeah, that's weird. Arrested Friday on Friday, uh, <laughs> according to arrest records obtained by CNN. Uh, he's been arraigned and assessed with a bond of $500,000. Who said it's unclear how he pleaded. I'm not sure why that would be. I'm, I would I would think that would be readily available. But I don't know. It's pretty fucked up, man. Pretty messed up. 
Now, my question is, is this dude just her brother or is he also her uncle, father, cousin, because it's West Virginia? (laughs) And finally, in the news. Fellas. Thanks to the LGBTQIA, BCD, EFG agenda. We are once again proving that we're better at everything, including being women. (laughs) Leah Thomas, of course, the transgender swimmer who came to fame by moving from number, what was it, 462 as a man to number one as a woman (laughs) in NCAA swimming, has been nominated by her university to be the NCAA Woman of the Year. Can't make this up. The woman of the year. Well, uh, this month will be uh, on that note. This month, our members only locals video will be us watching and reacting to the movie. What is a woman? So perhaps we will get to some answers about how this, how and why some of this stuff is going on. And whether or not, maybe we'll find out whether or not Leah Thomas is indeed a woman. The NCAA certainly thinks so. All right. That's enough news. We are going to get into some cool stuff. Money is the number one cause of stress and the number two cause of divorce. Make your money go further and work harder with a certified financial planner from Facet Wealth. Financial planning used to focus on retirement, but Facet helps you with today. You get a dedicated financial planner that guides you through every financial decision. Inflation, interest rates, stock market changes, home prices. How do you figure it all out? Well, every advisor at Facet is a certified financial planner and fiduciary. That's just a fancy way to say they have the best training, and they're legally bound to do what's in your best interest. This isn't just about investments. It's about taking care of your money so you can start living a better life today. Facet has a simple flat fee, no hidden charges, and with nothing to sell, there are no commissions. Visit TryFacetWealth.com for two months free off your first year of financial planning. That's T-R-Y-F-A-C-E-T Wealth.com. Facet Wealth is an SEC-registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. The secret's out. Buffalo, New York is an incredible place to live and work. Why? Our happening startup scene, opportunity-rich tech jobs, welcoming culture, and -and up-and-coming vibe make it a great place to find your dream job and settle into a region that will surprise you in so many great ways. Find out why people who move to Buffalo stay in Buffalo. Sign up today for the hottest job updates and more at BeInBuffalo.com. That's not the cool stuff. This is the cool stuff. Uh, Check this out. (laughs) I might be getting a new job. Entertainment is a crowded market. But I found a niche. I'm Fran Carter, and I run a dad bod strip club. Here at the thermostat, thermostat. we're about what women really want. You're sick of the brads and the chads who ghost you and break your heart. You thick, cuddly dudes with emotional availability. (laughs) Our regulars are mostly in their 30s. They've dated guys with abs before, sure, but they're over it. Now the fantasy is the pleasure-giving dad bod male. Someone who knows their way around your body and a Home Depot. We cater to every aspect of the dad bod fantasy. We have the snuggle room where you can curl up with a dad bod and watch romantic comedies. Hell, some of my guys don't even dance. They just open tight pickle jars. <laughs> Women love it. Guy makes a fortune. That's great. Some through college with that money. There's also the Ikea dance for customers that get off and watching guys assemble, (laughs) disassemble, and reassemble furniture. That's Dre. 
stripper name's Alan Wrench. Very handy man. Alan Wrench. Install all the pools here. It's a very and clever. a shelf in my house. Nice guy. Now for your viewing pleasure, please welcome to stage Tommy Bermuda. We have the full range of dance talent here. Guys with wild stripper moves. And guys who just do the lawnmower. The lawn. Some women like to watch men <laughs> actually parent, so we invented the Bjorn dance. be a bit ahead of his time and of course weekend mornings are huge for us because weekend. daddy makes pancakes <laughs> early birds get here 6 a.m i tell all my male friends you got to come and see the truth you don't have to look like tom hardy to drive women wild as long as you can change a tire and have nice nail beds honey you're a snack and of course the traditional male stripping community is awful to them they call my guys chubby losers who look like they work at Sprint. Not chipping. I'll show you a chubby loser. <laughs> back of my fist. I guess my guys threaten people because they stand for something, you know? They're not just swaying their moves to Yacht Rock. They're informed. They're political. Some of them don't even dance the music. They dance the podcasts. From Seattle People's Radio, this is Beginnings. I'm your host, Jim <laughs> But I'm running a business here, so I keep a close eye on what my guys eat. Get that poison out of your body. We want dilfs. Not twinks in this club. If I see one more piece of arugula in my club, what is this, balsamic? I want ranch dressing only. Drink your beer. Eat the donut. Preferably with the cream inside. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <clears throat> yeah, Michael, I'll have to check out uh, that that Bill Burr special <laughs> with her. <laughs> <laughs> um and then this uh this invention the jewel cooler this is great i invented the jewel cooler the first car vent accessory for staying fresh and cold between That's your right. legs while driving around on a hot summer day this one-of-a-kind breezy the boys cool device will magnetically snap or the girls you can throw it down your shirt your ladies directional head that easily slides under your shorts then just crank up the fan speed and live your best life feeling crisp all summer long. That is great. Uh, I There wasn't an ordering link, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I definitely wish that we uh yeah. We could we could bring that to the world. <laughs> that's cuz that's awesome. All right, we're going to take a little break and pay some bills. And then uh, we'll be back with the Tools and Men of the Week. So stay tuned right here on Man Tools. So on my way over here, my brakes made an awful noise. And the last time I got them done, it was so expensive. You should go to EXO Auto Works. They did a great job on mine, and it was way cheaper than anywhere else I've been. That sounds great. I need to get their number from you. At EXO Auto Works, we offer the best price on brake service in town. We include brand new brake pads, rotors, and hardware, which saves you money and gets you on the road faster. See our website for a full list of our services. Call EXO Auto Works today. This is Vinny. He loves his beard. He loves his woman, and she loves him. But Haiti doesn't like the look and feel of his beard. Wait a minute. What's this? It's Daliquid Tonic Beard Oil from The Beard Struggle. That's going to alleviate dry skin and irritation. What you got now? It's Warrior's Beard Butter from The Beard Struggle. That's going to make his beard soft and fluffy. And what's this? The Carbon X Heated Beard Brush from The Beard Struggle. That's going to straighten those curls. There's more. The Voxto Beard Growth Accelerator from The Beard Struggle. That's to stimulate hair growth. The Beard Struggle helps to build relationships used by thousands of men worldwide. Order online now from TheBeardStruggle.com. Use the code TLANE15 for 15% off your order. All right. Tool of the Week brought to you by Tool Barn, <clears throat> which carries all the top power tool brands like Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Makita. 
shoptoolbarn.com. But if you do, use our code or our uh, link, toolbarn.evyy.net slash man tools, or use that. I can never tell where it is. That QR code down there, uh, and it will help us out if you buy anything. So the uh, the actual tool of the week, like, you know, tool, is uh, this guy here, available right now at Tool Barn. Guys, check out the new M18 Milwaukee inflator. That's a 12 sitting in there, and that's a display on the right, a little handle in the middle, and the pump on the end. So this is available for thing is pretty sweet. And, uh, right the now at Tool pretty Barn. small, very narrow. Only 6.4 inches wide. Comes in at about seven pounds, tool only. The hose is 36 inches long, so that's plenty of hose to get where you need to get. It features a true fill technology. What that does is uh, auto pressure check feature activates to ensure PSI target is achieved. It automatically shuts off at selected PSI to prevent overinflation. Very handy. To it's the fastest the M18 cordless tire inflator tank, topping off a 33 inch light truck tire in under one minute four presets m1 m2 m3 m4 on the display here allow you to store commonly used psi the thing is sweet and it does not suck well in addition to that type of tool we have some other tools um <clears throat> this here these tools are some uh, Black Lives Matter protesters who, you know, uh, maybe they maybe they have a case when uh, you know, as they often put it, an unarmed black man is shot by the police. I think when that happens, yeah, that 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 is outrageous uh, sometimes. But in this case, uh, the person they're protesting on behalf of was shot by police. While he was firing bullets in an apartment complex, including bullets that went into this woman's apartment from an adjacent apartment, and uh, she had two kids in the apartment with her. So, well, we'll, we'll just watch. So she's very reasonably upset. In case you didn't hear that, that's someone screaming, you're alive, so shut up. So because she survived, she should just think this guy's fine. And that it's a tragedy that he was killed. Yeah, <laughs> this is not a George Floyd situation. This dude was shooting bullets into apartments. No, you guys want to be on TV. <laughs> this lady has no interest in being on TV. She just wants you to get the fuck out of her apartment complex parking lot. Holy shit. It's not okay. Just go home. Go home. Because none of you guys... And she actually lives there. I found that man's door to check his house. Shut up. He's coming to my house. Shut up. 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 Shut up.
Uh, you may have heard about this shooting at uh, the Greenwood Park Mall in Indiana. Well, uh, initial reports were within two minutes, but apparently it was within 15 seconds of the uh, gunman opening fire with a rifle. This man, uh, I believe that's a spelling of Elijah. It's very strange, but I'm going to pronounce it that way. Elijah Dickin was able to step in and prevent further deaths. He pulled a pistol, shot 10 times, and hit this motherfucker eight from about 40 yards away. Holy shit. (laughs) That is crazy. Within 15 seconds. (laughs) Oh, my God. Uh, That is incredible. This dude is definitely a real man. And he's 22 years old. He was carrying a gun uh, with no permit because uh, Indiana just passed constitutional carry. So no permit necessary. Now, some people are upset because the mall has a rule against carrying a gun. Well, fuck them. (laughs) how about that fuck that mall they're like he shouldn't have had a gun either yeah but it was a good thing he did so go fuck yourself how about that incredible incredible 22 years old trained by his grandfather in uh shooting or at least introduced to it uh yeah michael good it's a, it's a good thing he did not uh follow the mall's policy <clears throat> and apparently under under uh Indiana law it's not a crime to violate that policy um from what i understand i'm not a lawyer from what i understand i guess there's a possibility of a civil suit but what what damages are you going to claim you should have let this dude kill 40 people in our mall <laughs> instead of putting him down after he killed 3 <laughs> like <laughs> so uh, good for him. Definitely a real man. And our second man of the week, it's rare that we have two men of the week, but this guy definitely needs to be in there as well. And I don't know what order to put these two in, um, but you might have seen this story as well floating around. He's a Domino's pizza delivery guy, but on this day, he was serving up a large helping of heroism. Yes, When he drove by a home on fire, he did something that's usually a big no-no. He entered the burning building to save children trapped inside. That's right. There's nobody else inside the house, right? Lying on the ground, choking and gasping for breath, this man is being hailed a hero for saving a family of six. Police body cam video captured the moment 25-year-old Nick Bostick ran from a He apparently went in twice. ...carrying a six-year-old <clears throat> child. It looked like hell. If you can imagine what hell looked like. Nick works in a pizza restaurant in Lafayette, Indiana, and jumped into action. Also in Indiana, damn. House on fire as he was Indiana's fucking by. kicking ass. He ran inside <laughs> to help rescue the occupants, then ran back again to look for a six-year-old wow. who was still inside. I took a deep breath. I ran down there, um, and I, I closed my eyes, and I, I led with my hand, and I just I used my ears to sense out where the child was make, crying shit. from. Um uh, I snatched the baby up, put it in my arms. He was exhausted and suffering. Right. <clears throat> Before we get dinged with a inside edition copyright thing. Uh, <clears throat> wow. I think maybe Indiana is the state of the week. <laughs> with both of these stories coming out of there. Holy crap. Fucking heroes down there. Um, well, that brings us to... Uh, what's pissing us off and uh, what's pissing us off this week can be summed up in one word Congress. So uh, we'll get into that. So, uh, I wanted to bring this version of the story up first. This comes from CNN. Um, I think it was like 15 Democratic lawmakers, including, as you can see there, 
uh, Angela Ocasio Cortez, uh, Rashida Tlaib, and some other kind of squad type people uh, were arrested. <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not sure if that's even accurate. Uh, they, yeah, they were arrested uh, protesting in front of the Supreme Court due to the Roe v. Wade decision, uh, the overturning of Roe v. Wade, which, uh, whatever your opinions are on if that was the right decision to make or whatever, the fact of the matter is, if anyone can do anything about it that actually matters besides jamming up traffic and protesting, it would be members of Congress. They can literally, the ruling is, well, there's not a federal law, so it goes back to the states. Well, pass a federal law. <laughs> if you have a problem with that ruling, <laughs> go to your job. <laughs> but no, instead, these people like to engage in political theater. And you're about to see what I'm talking about. So this picture, it looks like she's being cuffed, right? Oh, by the way, it's like 100 some odd degrees in D.C. And all of these Congress people are wearing coats because they literally just came out to hopefully instigate something like this and then get on TV and in pictures. They weren't actually out there all day with, you know, these other people that have been protesting. So, uh, let's take a look at this from a bit of a different angle. We won't go back. We won't go back. We won't go back. So there, there they are doing some marching. I'm not sure where AOC is at this point, but, Now the police are saying that doing the blocking like the traffic, it's no longer a, uh, there, there she is. Housing works. I don't know what that has to do with. Oh. So no cuts involved. <laughs> All theater. All theater. And instead of doing this, if if she really wanted to codify, as they keep saying, Roe v. Wade, she could just do her job. She could introduce a bill. She could vote yes on someone else's bill that does the same thing. But it's all it's all theater. All theater. Political theater. So that's the first thing that's pissing me off about Congress was, are these jackholes? The other thing that's pissing me off about Congress <clears throat> is the, uh, I guess it made it out of the, at least the committee in the House. So it's going to go to the House floor. They've come up with an assault weapons ban again. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, should be seeing record sales of AR-15s because of this, because... You may not be able to get one for much longer. Right, Eric? That's right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, check this out. And and here's what really pisses me off, as you'll see. These people have no idea how any of this shit works, yet they're going to tell us who do, at least no more than they do. I mean, I'm not an expert on guns, but, you know, I'm fairly well versed. They're, they're going to they're gonna regulate this stuff when they have no idea how any of this shit works. So, uh, yeah, this, this fella's name who you're going to hear speak is, uh, cause I want to get it right. David Cecilian. I don't remember what state he's from. He's a Democrat. Uh, but check this out. Ha the, the, just the idiocy. I move to strike the last word. Gentlemen's recognized. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I rise in opposition to the amendment. What this stabilizing brace, which is depicted here, when, a, when attached here, it turns this weapon into an automatic weapon. This bumps, it becomes a... No, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. ...bump stock. And so it will allow that to essentially be fired like an automatic no, weapon. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do any of that. And that's the danger. It's so... I have to very strongly oppose the amendment. As it's called, it's a brace that stabilizes it. 
they're showing what's known as an AR pistol. And then they sell these braces that turn it into a rifle, which there's such nonsense with this, the distinctions here. Um, <clears throat> some of these, depending on how big they are and stuff, some of these are considered short barreled rifles. Some are considered pistols. And then sometimes the, the ones that are considered pistols, I don't think can come with that stock or stabilizing brace as it's called. Um, but I, from what I understand, it's legal to buy one aftermarket and then tack it on there. And now it's in effect a rifle. And I yield back. So this dude's a you fucking idiot. He's a fucking idiot. None of that is, none of that is true. It doesn't do any of that. So here's, here's a nice little rebuttal from one of my favorite Congress critters, uh, Mr. Thomas Massey. Back. Gentleman yields back. Who seeks recognition? I, I seek recognition. Our purpose is the gentleman from Kentucky seek recognition. To strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized. <laughs> the, the Democrats are so zealous in their rush to ban everything related to guns and every gun that exists that I'm afraid uh, Mr. Cicilline has his, his gun features mixed up. He just described the arm brace, which is used by people who have a handicap to help fire a, a pistol, he just described it as a bump stock. Uh, it's neither a stock nor a bump stock. And um, I think it's important that if you're going to ban these things, that you actually understand right? what you're banning. That is, <laughs> That thing doesn't do the thing he says that it does. He's full of shit. The picture that he showed, everybody needs to know. So, so he's either ignorant he's not- or he wants to pr- promote this idea that stabilizing braces do something that they don't. I don't know which. It could be both. And I don't think he gives a shit. He just wants it banned. It's scary looking. Not a bump stock. It's, a, it's an arm brace for firing a pistol uh, from the wrist. And it's not, it's not made to increase the rate of fire of the firearm. It's not made to simulate automatic fire. Um, it's made to stabilize... The, the grip of a pistol. And that's all, that's all it does. So, yeah. Congress. Pissing me off. Uh, so I need to let off a little steam. So I'm going to play... Uh, to do that, I'm going to play some Tin in the Bin. Tin in the Bin. Alright, let's see. I'm I'm gonna get this eventually. I think I think the secret is the arc. Oh that is the closest one I've got so far. I am improving. I am definitely improving. Alright, if I finish this one off by the end of the show, I might take another shot. Uh, let's see. Uh, it, we'll get into some his story. And, uh, again, if I, if I finish this off, then we'll, uh, we'll play some more tin in the bin. So an unusual week in his story. Um, <clears throat> I only found really, I guess, a work week of his story. We got five days. So kind of a short one. But uh, let's see. We'll get into it now. July 22nd, so tomorrow. Yeah, nothing happened today. But at least nothing that I cared about looking through it. Um, July 22nd, 1934, American gangster John Dillinger is shot dead by FBI officers outside of a Chicago cinema. And uh, back then, well, I I don't think they do it quite like they did back then, but they used to just display bodies of bad dudes like this. Uh, There were some other pictures where it looked like the public could just come in and look. (laughs) 
So, uh, pretty wild. Uh, let's see, July 23rd, 1885, President Ulysses S. Grant dies of throat cancer at the age of 63. Well, former president at that point, he had, he had, uh, finished his terms. <clears throat> um, July 24th, 1847, the first members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as the Mormons, arrived in Utah, settling in what is now known as Salt Lake City. Uh, July 25th, 1978, the first test tube baby, Louise Brown, is born in uh, Oldham, England. And finally, July 27th, 1777, the uh, Marquis de Lafayette arrives in New England to help the uh, English colonies that will soon be known as the United States fight their war of independence against the British. And for no other reason than the French hate the English. <laughs> they didn't really care whether or not we had an independent country. They just really didn't like the British. All right. Uh, I am going to finish what's left of this, and we'll uh, we'll take another tin in the bin shot. All right, one more. All right, I lied. One more. Ten in the bin. All right, here we go. I was off by basically the same amount just on the other side. I overcorrected. I overcorrected. Well, <clears throat> we uh, <clears throat> want to thank everybody for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, this Saturday, 7 p.m., you can catch Eric with Facing Forward. I don't know. Should I, should I plug him when he's not here? Should I plug his gigs when he's not here? I'm not sure. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll come up. Um, this Saturday, 7 p.m., Facing Forward rocks at Rookies. Rookies Tap House and Eatery down in Fountain, Colorado. Check out their Facebook page for details. Uh, <clears throat> Members only, out now, has been out for a while. Uh, our episode on gun control and mass shootings is available. Coming soon. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we will watch and comment on the film What is a Woman? Uh, hopefully with a guest woman. would make it a little more interesting than just a couple of dudes. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you can, you'll be able to get both of those, uh, the, the gun control one now and What is a Woman when we're done shooting it. Uh, <clears throat> by becoming a, scri- a subscriber on mantoolsminions.locals.com for just $3 a month. It's a good deal. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, EXO Auto Works and Harmonic Studios, Crafts by Carolyn Lane, The Beard Struggle, where, of course, you can use the code TLANE15 for 15% off your order, Madrid Maintenance, Tool Barn, of course, use our link uh, to purchase power tools and support us and uh credit nerd which uh <clears throat> if you use the link for them and sign up for some credit monitoring that will help us out as well uh thanks to you for watching and or listening and of course please check us out on the web at mantoolsmedia.com and you can get all of our social media by going to our links that's l-i-i-n-k-s dot c-o slash mantoolsmedia and we will be back next week so good night everybody hello podcast listener my name is barrett and along with a couple friends zach and trent i host the all about nothing podcast 
a weekly discussion about news, entertainment, politics, sports, and more. We give our honest opinions about the information that's most affecting the world. Sometimes serious, sometimes funny, but never not interesting. It's the All About Nothing podcast with Zach King, Trent Clark, and Barrett Gruber. Get it wherever you listen to podcasts or visit theallaboutnothing.com for links. The All About Nothing podcast. It's likely to be the best part of your week. Secrets out, Buffalo, New York is an incredible place to live and work. Why? Our happening startup scene, opportunity-rich tech jobs, welcoming culture and up-and-coming vibe make it a great place to find your dream job and settle into a region that will surprise you in so many great ways. Find out why people who move to Buffalo stay in Buffalo. Sign up today for the hottest job updates and more at BeInBuffalo.com.